25. Given x is a real number, write the expression in simplest a plus bi form. What we just do here is multiply it regularly and add like terms. Over here, um, we can write down i to the side and i squared is equal to negative 1. We can replace i squared with negative 1. This equals 7x plus 6i. Number 26, solve 3.8e to the 1.5t power is equal to 16 algebraically for t to the nearest hundredth. So what we could first do is divide by 3.8 on both sides. And then times by natural log to get rid of the e. So we could times by that, and it will be 1.5t is equal to natural log 4.21. And we could divide both sides by 1.5, and we get t is equal to 0.96. Number 27. In an attempt to get the student body's opinion of a new dress code, members of the statistics class surveyed the students of the first period computer science class. Explain a statistical bias in the method of data collection. So because they only did the first period computer science class, this isn't the whole school. The survey of only one class does not represent every student. Number 28, sketch a graph of polynomial P of X given the criteria below. So they give us the zeros at negative five, one, and four. As X approaches infinity, P of X approaches negative infinity. So we know it's gonna be going down. And as X approaches negative infinity, P of x approaches negative infinity. So we know it's going to be going down here. This is what our graph will look like. Number 29. The height above ground of a Ferris wheel car can be modeled by the function h of t is equal to negative 103.5 cosine 2 pi times t over 5 plus 108.5, where h is measured in feet and t is measured in minutes. State the period of the function and describe what the period represents in this context. So we know that b is equal to 2 pi over 5, and we know that period is 2 pi over b. So 2 pi divided by b becomes 5. So the period is 5, which represents one full rotation of the Ferris wheel. Number 30. Solve algebraically for all values of x. So what we first want to do is find the common denominator x plus 5 times x would be the common denominator in this case. So you can multiply the first term by x, the second term by x plus 5, and the third term by x times x plus 5. Once we multiply this and combine like terms, we can see 5x squared plus 20x plus 15 is equal to 0. So 5 times x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. This factors to x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3, and x is equal to negative 3, negative 1. Check for extraneous solutions. They are both real solutions. Number 31. The transportation methods used by the upperclassmen at Calhoun High School are summarized in the table below. Are the events being a junior and driving to school independent? So if it was independent, the probability of A times B would be equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of A and B is just the number of juniors who also drive, which is 58, and out of the total number of students, of juniors and seniors, which is 277. The probability of A would just be the probability of being a junior which is 145 out of the total, 277. And the probability of B would be the probability of students who drive, which is 139 out of 277. So no, the events being a junior and driving to school are not independent because the probability of A and B is not equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. 32. Can f of x is equal to x cubed plus 7 be classified as an odd function? Justify your answer. So for this, f of negative x would have to be equal to negative f of x. 
This would prove that this function would rotate um, 180 degrees. So f of negative x would be equal to negative x cubed plus 7, but negative f of x would be negative x cubed minus 7. So therefore, this isn't an odd function because f of negative x is not equal to negative f of x. Part 3, number 33, solve the following system of equations algebraically for all values of x, y, and z. So we can write this as a, b, and c. Over here, we can start by eliminating both x and z. So we could write down c and 2 times a. This would get rid of the x term and the z term. Negative 14y is equal to negative 84, and y is equal to 6. Now we could eliminate just the x terms. So negative 2a would be negative 6x plus 16y minus 4z is equal to 120. And 3 times b would be 6x minus 21y minus 15z is equal to negative 93. X terms would cancel out, and this would be negative 5y minus 19z is equal to 27. Since we have the y value that we previously got, we could plug in 6 for y. This would be negative 30 minus 19z is equal to 27, or negative 19z equals 57, or z is equal to negative 3. Now we have two terms, and we can plug it into any of the equations we want. I will plug it into a, and as we can see, x would be negative 2. Number 34. In the town of Skin Edsels, New York, house prices since 2008 have changed based on the function where t is the number of years since 2008, and h of t is the median house price. Determine the average rate of change for the median house price in skin needles from 2010 to 2018 to the nearest dollar per year. So because we're comparing um, 2018 and 2010 to 2008, first we need to find t. So 2010 minus 2008 is 2, and 2018 minus 2008 is 10. So we're finding... Um, so we're finding the value of the function h of t for the values of t, which are 2 and 10. So we could plug this in. h of 2 is equal to 2018 is equal to 218,405, and h of 10 is equal to 310,593. We can find the average of this, which would be h of 10 minus h of 2 over 10 minus 2, which is 11,524. Explain what this rate of change means as it relates to median house prices. On average, median house prices increase at a rate of 11,524 per year from 2010 to 2018. Number 35. A sporting goods manufacturer is trying to determine if they should continue to produce multiple types of hockey pucks. The company surveys 50 randomly chosen customers and asks if they both purchase game regulation pucks and lightning training pucks. Of those surveyed, 40 of them said they purchased both types of pucks. A simulation was run 100 times based on survey results, and it produced the results below. As we see, mean is 0 0.795, and standard deviation is 0 0.085. Determine the interval contained the middle 90% of plausible values, which estimate the proportion of all customers who purchased both types of pucks. To find the middle 95%, you are finding the range of two standard deviations within the mean. So mean plus or minus two standard deviations. So 0 0.795 plus or minus two times 0 0.085. That will create the interval 0 0.625 minus 0 0.965. The company will continue to manufacture both types of hockey pucks. If it is reasonable to assume that the true proportion of customers who buy both types of hockey pucks is above 0 0.6. Using the interval from part A, explain whether or not the company should continue to produce both types of hockey pucks. So yes, because 0 0.6 is below the confidence interval we got. Number 36. Graph y is equal to f of x, where f of x is equal to log 2 x minus 1 plus 3 on the set of axes below. So our basic formula would just be x minus h plus k, so that's a translation of 1 to the right, and plus 3 would just be up 3 on the set of axes. So we can plot that. 
we could just put this into our calculator. We could put it into y equals. And as you can see, we can go to second graph and see where um, easily plottable points would be. So I'll choose 2, 3, and 9, 6. The, the asymptote will be at x is equal to 1 because we can see that it's not going past that point. So the first question, state the equation of the asymptote, x is equal to one. When f of x is reflected over the line y is equal to x, a new function is formed, state the equation of the asymptote. That's just reversing. So the asymptote will be the same value, but y is equal to one. Number 37, Megan is performing an experiment in a lab where the air temperature is a constant 73 degrees Fahrenheit and the liquid is 237 degrees Fahrenheit. One and a half hours later, the temperature of the liquid is 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Newton's law of cooling states that T of T is equal to T base A plus T base zero minus T base A times E to the power of negative K times T. So we know that T of T is just the temperature at T hours and they gave this to us as 112 degrees Fahrenheit. We know that T of A is the air temperature. They gave it at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And T of zero is the initial temperature, which they gave as 237 degrees Fahrenheit. K is the constant, we're trying to find it. And T is equal to 1.5. Plug in all of these into the formula they gave us. Once you combine it, so you can minus 73 from both sides, combine 237 minus 73, and then just put it into your calculator. Multiply both sides by natural log to get rid of the E, and you're gonna get K is equal to 0 0.958. Continued. Uh, determine the temperature of the liquid using your value for K to the nearest degree after two and a half hours. So we got K, and now all we have to do is substitute T for 2.5 instead. This would be equal to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Megan needs the temperature of the liquid to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit to perform the next step in her experiment. Use your value for K to determine to the nearest tenth of an hour how much time she must wait since she first began the experiment. We'll set this equation equal to 80 degrees and plug in the other values we know and plug in our value of K, but this time we just don't know T. So now we can solve for it. So we're gonna get, so we're gonna move 73 to the other side seven degrees equal to 164 E to the power of negative 0 0.958 times X. Now we're gonna divide both sides by 164 times by natural log to get rid of the E. And divide by negative 0 0.958, which gets us the time of X is equal to 3.3 hours. And that is it.